You're caring for your loved one, but who's caring for you? Let's talk about it in today's episode. What I found to be the case in most families is that at some point in time, there's somebody in your home to be cared for. It could be the grandma, it could be great uncle, it could be maybe a child with special needs. But at some point, each one of us will either be giving care or will need care. And it's a daunting task and it also comes with a lot of stress and it also comes with a lot of heartache. Your families uh, in many communities who they try to handle it all on their own, which makes this challenge even greater for them because they're not aware oftentimes that there are services that are available. And then secondly, they are not aware of the things that need to be done because they're not professional caregivers, so they don't have access or the knowledge that they would get from a, a professional trained um, caregiver. So some of the people I've seen, which is basically really, really um, struck a nerve with me, was a 14-year-old girl whose mother was a diabetic and she was dying from the disease and she was wheelchair bound. And it was just a 14-year-old daughter and she basically, she dropped out of high school. And she's coming home and not going to school. She's just taking care of her mother all day. And she doesn't really know what to do. She's not a healthcare professional. So she's managing as well as she can. But they had another problem. Um, because the mother was divorced, they were living in squalor. The home was absolutely filthy and they had a, a guard dog. which was 